you have. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the money you have in your piggy bank or how full your closet is or even whether you own the latest gaming system. I'm talking about the things that each of you has been given by a generous God who loves you more than you could imagine. God has given you time, time that you can waste or time that you can use wisely. Sure, I can help for an hour. Be right there. God has given you words, words you can use to hurt someone. I cannot believe you or to make someone stay. Way to go, you rocked it! God has given you unique talents and abilities, gifts you can ignore, or gifts that you can grow. Yes, God has trusted you with so much, and he's with you every step of the way to help you use it wisely. When you show that you truly can be trusted with what is expected of you, others can see God at work in you. And that's why responsibility is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. You never turn away, you never leave my side. And every time I call your name out just to find that you're already right here with me. Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Trust you with my heart There are days when I feel I need a friend And then I hear your voice reminding me again That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start trust you with my heart You are more than able to lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Oh, I will trust you with my heart No matter what may come, no matter what I go through God, you are never gonna fail me I will trust you with my heart no matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are Never gonna fail me, I will trust you with my heart You are always faithful, you love me from the start No matter what I'm facing, I will trust you with my heart You are more than able to lead me through the dark Your love is never failing, I will trust you with my heart you with my heart. Hey everybody, my name's Erica, and if you're like me, you love playing games! I love sitting around a table with my friends and family playing card games, board games, or any kind of game. I just got a new game in the mail today. Duga Pioneers! But I'll have to wait just a little bit because if you're also like me, you can't play a game until you know how. I feel like I owe it to the designers of this game to learn all the rules so I can play the game the way it's designed to be played. It's my responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. So let's check out these rules. The Doja Duga Doge Doge Doja Pioneers Instruction Manual. Rule number one. Each player should roll the enclosed red die 
To determine who goes first, the person who rolls the highest odd number should be the first player to begin the adventure. The person who rolls the lowest even number should draw a standard utility card. If the card is beige, they should go second. If the card is fuchsia, they should go last. If the card is orange or gold, all dice rolls are null and void and the process should be repeated from the beginning. Okay, 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 okay. Rule number 127. Should you run out of standard utility cards or action cards, you must pause the game until more cards are ordered and cards can be purchased from the website listed below. Expected delivery can be eight to 10 business days. Oh, this is exhausting. I mean, I get it. We need a lot of rules. Rules are important in the games and in life. But we'll learn in today's story. Maybe the rules don't have to be so complicated. Let me just pull this back to where it, oh, excuse me, sorry. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 36 through 40. The book of Matthew, the very first book in the New Testament, was written by, you guessed it, Matthew. Now, even though he was a tax collector and disliked by others, he became one of Jesus' followers. And years later, he wrote an eyewitness account of the things that Jesus said and did. For example, he tells us of the day that the religious leaders tried to trap Jesus with a trick question. Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law? The religious leaders followed 613 different laws. They wanted Jesus to pick just one law so Jesus would get in trouble for leaving out the other 612 laws. But Jesus didn't fall into their trap. Instead, he took this opportunity to show everyone that following God doesn't have to be complicated. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. Now, Jesus wasn't saying that the other 611 laws were wrong. He was only saying that if you look at every choice in your life through the lens of loving God and loving others, you won't go wrong. If you love God and love people, you will fulfill all the other laws. It's truly that simple. Often, it's in our darkest times that we find the most amazing opportunities to show love to others. In the past year, due to COVID-19, we've seen a lot of people put themselves on the line to help others. Doctors, nurses, medical workers, but we've also seen grocery store cashiers and delivery workers put themselves at risk of getting sick. So each of us could have the food and supplies we need. That's love in a big way. And you know what? Young people and kids have stepped up too. In Reno, Nevada, a college student named Jade Powell recruited a few friends to help elderly people buy their groceries during the pandemic. Within a few days, the idea took off. More and more volunteers jumped in to help shop and drop off groceries on the doorstep of older individuals. Within weeks, shopping angels reached all 50 states and other countries too, all because one student saw a need and chose to stop and show God's love. Sometimes showing love to others only takes a few minutes. In Columbus, Ohio, Taryn, who is nine, and Calliope, who's six, knew their elderly neighbor loved classical music. Because she was in isolation and couldn't go out, they took a concert to her front porch. For 30 minutes, they played a private cello concert just to brighten her day. It was a simple and amazing way to show love to others. Let's look at one more story. 
In Portland, Oregon, a high school junior named Julia Lynn quickly realized that with school closed, some kids and families would not be able to get enough to eat. She put out the word online in her community, requesting food donations. Within days, she received over 400 responses. Julia picked up each donation herself, and with the help of the school student government, she set up distribution centers where families in need could pick up the food. In helping provide food to hungry people, Julia was clearly showing God's love in action. God loves us so deeply. He's done so much for us, it's our responsibility to take that same love and show it to others. As Paul reminds us in the book of 1 Timothy, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Also, set an example in how you love in what you believe. Don't wait for somebody else to go first. Now is your time. Now is your chance to love God by loving others. Hi, have you ever noticed how many rules there are in life? Look both ways before crossing the street. Hey, you, look both ways before crossing the street. No talking in class. No talking in class. Children, no talk. You can't say something nice. Don't say anything at all. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. When you read the Bible, you'll see even more. There are hundreds of rules and commandments from God in here. And learning all of them would be really complicated, even if you studied them your whole life. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be so complicated. Jesus said that all God's commandments, all of his rules are based on just two. Rule number one, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love God, love others. It's so simple. When you follow that rule, all the other rules are taken care of. After all, you're not always gonna have the rule book with you. So when you're in a situation where you're not sure what the rules are, just ask yourself, how can I love God through this? Or am I loving other people? That should help keep you in the game. So here's the one thing to remember today. This is the most important rule for life. Love God, love others. Because really, it's more than just a game. If you follow Jesus, then loving God and loving others is your responsibility. But it's up to you. You can make it complicated or just keep it simple. Mmm. Yummy. Eatsy, eatsy, eatsy. <laughs> See you next time.